Disclaimer. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Do not attempt this at home. Vitiated how to will not be responsible because you decided to be a cheap ass and not hire professional. On with the show. Next one is etiquette list. Cutting through people's campsites. You cut through mine and my dogs are out. You just. <laughs> uh, I promise you, you'll never do it again. <laughs> you'll never do it again. I guarantee you'll never do it again. And no, they're not aggressive dogs. And no, they don't bite me. I walk my perimeter of my site. And they know their perimeter. So when you walk within that perimeter, you are fair game. That's just me. Now, when you cut through everybody else's, that's just fucking rude. We all pay whatever amount we pay for that site. That is our little section. That's our little zen. Our little piece of the pie, if you will. Or whatever it is. If you're too sorry as in lazy to walk around, then you probably shouldn't be there. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I know at home you walk through my yard. I'll make sure you never do it again. But a campsite's a little different. You can't act that way. But at home, I can. And that's just... People have gotten so entitled nowadays. Back in the day, you didn't do that shit. Somebody had to whoop your ass. Flat the fuck out. And I know being in RV life is everybody being nice. I mean, it's... That's fine. Being nice. And if it's okay, and they okay you to do it, that is fine. But all you clowns that think you're entitled that you can do whatever the fuck you want and fuck everybody else's whatever, then yeah, that's a problem. Because you think you're entitled, you could do whatever you want. And I miss the old days to where you fuck around and found out that entitlement wasn't real. But that entitlement just seems to be real now. So you just got to respect people's boundaries, which you guys can't even respect them enough to make your kids mine, let alone you. I just, 